I know with ozone in particular, um, so I think they call it ultraviolet ozone therapy. Is this, the, is this the same light that they use in, in that therapy? I know it's in conjunction with well, ozone. So UVBI to us is... UVBI, correct. UVBI to us is, is like a 1957 Volkswagen. <laughs> Why do you... Still on, right? yeah. And so we call this polychromatic therapy. And this is where the, the, the lights are actually... Here's where your ozone machine is, or your blood bag, or whatever your collect, collection device is. So what we do is when the blood goes through here, we, we run it through here, and we treat it with the uh, short wavelength red, which fortifies the primary nucleotides in the blood, the SOD catalase, etc. Because we're going to give it a high dose of ultraviolet. So the wavelengths of ultraviolet pass through the, the tubes? All, all three of the tubes, because we have these bulbs here, which are centered. If I use this one, you can see it better. But the bulbs, the bulbs are centered here. So what you've got is even distribution on the three, on the three uh, legs of the cuvette, the trivetal bulb. Now, so the blood comes through here, it comes up to the second layer, and this is where we hit it with, with uh, nitric oxide producing wavelengths. We have 20,000 milliwatts, which is 20 watts of the uh, 590 amber. And then it comes up here and we're hitting it with 10 watts of the blue and the, and the green. So we open up capillaries and balance redux and, and on and on. And now it's going into your collection bag. And coming back, it's in reverse, but all three of them are getting hit with the uh, three wavelengths of ultraviolet in the two bulbs. And those two bulbs are designed to produce uh, promote uh, and propel the Krebs cycle. Our bulbs produce approximately 22 watts of ultraviolet. Now, that's out of 56 watts of bulb, or 52 watts of, no, one minute. 30, 36 times two is 72 watts. And what's the wavelength, the, the color of the lights again? Well, this one's uh, 635, this one's 590, this is 450 and 525. And then on the uh, ultraviolet, we use a combination 340-365A, and we use a 250-370 standard germicidal. But we don't use any B. Some of these machines, people use and put B wavelength in, which is a dub. Not very smart because that helps promote the release and formation of ANAs, um, anti-nuclear uh, anti antibodies. You know, we're talking about lupus, fibromyalgia, et cetera, aggravating the conditions. We don't do that. Um, and so we also have pads over here, which we put on the body, the large pads, liver, kidneys, adrenals, breast, whatever they're doing for treating. And then we have liposomalized methylene blue, which we make, which is activated by those two other wavelengths, which is a long wavelength red, and 810 uh, nanometer infrared. Okay. So the other thing is, is that any kind of inactivation of virus, bacteria, mold, and fungus is a function of energy, time, and wavelength. We have the wavelengths that will do it, and we have the energy that will do it, approximately 2,000% of the energy to 3,000% of the ultraviolet energy of any other machine out there. So 20 to 30 times more powerful. But we also have three times the travel time and the contact time. So it takes three times as long to go through here as it does any other direct. So you're going in here, you're going in over here, you're coming up, traveling through here, you're going through there, and in your collection device, you're coming back, you're doing the same thing. So you've got like six feet of um, inactivation as it goes through. Now, if we look inside the machine, the first thing that happens is the blood gets hit on that bottom cuvette with a, um, a line of, of red. We just don't blast the LEDs in our chamber. What we do, I might be able to show it on here. Let me see if I can show it on here. I'm going to take the cuvette out. And you will see that there's a tight line of red. See that? What we've done is we've captured the light because the, the LEDs are coming out at 120 degrees angle. So what we've done is we've captured it, focused it, 
and made it like a laser line lens. And that's what we do on all of the levels. So there's your red. This is your amber. You got 20 watts of that. We're doing the same thing. It's hard to tell with the paper is not in the exact right place. And then you, we do this with the, um, and we have the blue. The blue line is on this side. And then the green is on the other side. On this side here, you see that pretty tight, nice green line. So what we've done is we've captured and lensed the LEDs, and they're the best, best made, highest quality in the world, these LEDs. And then you have your two wavelengths, your ultraviolets. So here you go with everything on at the same time. And then you can plug in some of your topical devices to the front, and you can, here we go, and you can adjust the intensity here. If it's too much or too little. I mean, we like to work at the max that the patient can tolerate in terms of uh, heat generated by the reaction of the tissues and the thermal emission of the emitters. So, so these are the these are the pads. Right now, this little setup here is a little new setup we came up with that we can use. 16 of these uh, little pads on the body, they're gangs on, um, we can use four per channel on this thing, for example. So, we can put them on 16 energy points of the body. Like say you're doing a throat, you can put two of them on the throat, back of the neck, so we're doing like say, using our methylene blue or another photodynamic substance, and what, what we can do is we can, um, we can do a photodynamic therapy for a throat condition, you know, whatever it might be, or stimulate blood flow to the brain. Uh, you can do the sinus cavities. We can stimulate brain function, etc. I'm gonna show you something with this pad. Now, this little pad puts out 5,000 milliwatts, but if you'll see, it's going through my hand. See? That is just the red. That is not even including the infrared. The infrared will go three times as deep. I'm selecting a treatment on this. You know, you can do it on any one of the devices. So what we do is, we are taking this, and we strap it to the wrist. So it's going into the radius in the ulna. And so what we're doing is, we are photoactivating the bloodstream. We're also sending um, energy that goes eventually to the mitochondria. At the same time, we can use different um, photoactive substances, photodynamic substances, to do a, um, reduce, to release oxygen, oxygen cascade, free radical signal oxygen uh, generation, and um, any kind of phototherapy that we want to do that works with those um, photodynamic substances. And we can also engineer particular wavelength emitters to go to be compatible with various substances that you want to photoactivate in your bloodstream. So you can do photodynamic therapy. So you got, <laughs> say you do two wrists, you got the liver, the kidneys, or the throat or something, and we're making an anal vaginal probe, which you can also use. And then we have this oral device here, which we're re-engineering, so you can actually do a treatment sublingually with the wrist and the liver or something else you know, simultaneously.